Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create a histogram in MATLAB. In order to do so, the first thing we need to do is create some data. So I'm going to use this command here, norm rnd. And so what I want is I want random numbers. And here in parentheses, I'm specifying that I want my mean to be 100, my standard deviation to be 15. And here within these other parentheses, I'm specifying that I want 1,000 rows or if you prefer to think of it that way, a thousand observations and only one column. So that's a simple way of just telling MATLAB how many random numbers I want. I will press enter and we can verify that MATLAB has in fact generated uh, these thousand random numbers for us. Now we want to fit a histogram to them. So the command is simply hist fit and in parentheses the name of the uh, variable you just created or that you're working from in an existing data set and you press enter and MATLAB will actually generate it off screen for you here so it'll take a moment to pull it up and there's our histogram nicely done we have our normal curve superimposed so we can confirm that our thousand uh, thousand values here fit a Gaussian distribution pretty well. You can do some other stuff here that's uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, for example, I'm just going to point you to this again here in a minute. If we go over here to file and generate code, we can do we can capture really whatever we do to the graph in MATLAB code. So for example, let's say we want to add a variable uh, label over here, and let's say that we just want to say IQ and Maybe we want to go over here and, I don't know, maybe density, something like that. And if we want to go in later and see what the code was, we'll just go here to File, Generate Code. And in just a moment, you'll see it come up right there. So I think one of the great features of, uh, of MATLAB is you can, you can capture code after you've done something. Um, here in this case we can see that there's a, there's a lot of code that we would have to type in in order to command the program to label the axes for us in that way. It might be easier to do so just interactively the way I've demonstrated unless you have a need to sort of mass produce uh, graphs one after the other in which case it might be a better investment of your time to learn more about the code. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter 4 uh, following a perfect chapter 3 and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.